So the big news was from yesterday, the last year's show, the FDA lawyer in court, because they have to go to court now, and they have to defend all the stupid stuff they said about ivermectin. Because we all, we all know that ivermectin is a Nobel Prize winning human medicine that has saved billions of lives around the world, just not here in America. I didn't know until this lawyer announced it. <laughs> and, uh, and so they took him to court. And now they have to say, well, yeah, sure, you should be able to prescribe a super safe drug off label like every other drug. And so now the FDA is backtracking. And here's what Brett Weinstein said. He said, the ivermectin story completes a picture of the racket our system has become. The media, government, academy, pharma, and tech teamed up against the people, exacerbating a man-made disaster and demonizing resistors in order to mass administer a deadly, ineffective, unnecessary shot. Now, that's not true. It was certainly safe and effective, and it was necessary, and it slowed the spread, and it stopped people from getting super sick and hospitalized and dead. But that's what he said. What if hospital beds became overclogged with <laughs> sick people? Uh, there's no way we could ever get more hospital beds. Where, where, where would you get more hospital beds? They make them on other planets. Were they supposed to stop running at a profit? <laughs> so here, the reason why I'm showing you this is because uh, someone put this together, I think at the Washington Post, and um, this is kind of stunning. Watch this. Labor Day weekend, you did? Yeah. Before COVID, by the way, I used to be very proud that I was part of the comedy community, that I was a stand-up comedian and the fraternity of stand-up comedy. I was really proud. There's individuals I didn't like in comedy, like anywhere, but I was proud of it because we were always skeptical of power and we always allowed other people the freedom uh, to express themselves artistically and we're for freedom of speech and first of all, well, that's all gone now. And now they do stuff like this. They do big pharma propaganda uh, smugly. They're smugnerant. They don't know the first thing what they're talking about, but they're smug about it. Not knowing anything, by the way. That's just your right as an American. It's the part where you can't believe that somebody else looked up something and you're outraged about it that I can't get past. That's the new America. Yeah, Americans got together to fire up the grill, grab a cold beer, and toss back some horse dewormer. Mm. <laughs> but don't worry about the anti-vaxxers being unprotected, because they have found a new drug that also does not protect them. It's called ivermectin, which is a horse dewormer. So you'll probably still get COVID, but on the bright side, you could win the Preakness. Got him. <laughs> wow, you could win the Preakness. The Preakness being an annual race in Baltimore, Maryland, Kurt, where the majority of black people remain unvaccinated. Figures for a guy who once voted for Strom Thurmond. Did he? That's what the joke says. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he really voted for Strom? Strom Thurmond was a, a... Did you ever see his funeral with Obama making excuses for him? <laughs> I, I, oh, no, I didn't. His eulogy, like, look, a person's record's long. They don't. <laughs> well, back to this. Opponents say the science behind ivermectin is clear. In fact, we've been sent a demonstration of just how it defends your bloodstream from the virus. So how much do you think Pfizer paid for that graphic? I think Pfizer wrote the bit themselves and just told him to do it. And it's that bad. That's how bad this is. I don't even think he put his writers that aren't the best onto this. I don't know who writes for his show. No, they stink, whoever they are. We still got a lot of pandemics out there. People are still taking this. Iver the people who are actually looking into things that I'm talking about on national television. <laughs> he didn't look into ivermectin because if he would have, he would know that what he's saying is stupid. It's as dumb as the th people he thinks he's making fun of. And also it was phobic because pandemic, I believe, is a gender. <laughs> <laughs> it's also... Okay, here we go. Mectin, this poison, you know, the poison control centers have seen as this spike in calls oh. from people taking this live. And I know that because the people who've been lying about everything told me that. They couldn't, wouldn't possibly lie about calls to poison centers. That's not totally made up, is it? Even Colbert didn't lie that hard hey, in his joke. Complete, like, it's this, like, I'm, I'm sorry about Jimmy. This is unbelievable. 
And he's not going to apologize for it. So that shows character. He's not even going to know about it. He's not even, you're right. He's not even going to know about it. <laughs> Who's going to even know about this? I you're guarantee right. I'll mention it to somebody. And they'll still go, they'll go what? 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 You have to literally have your phone and show them the, the, me, you know, the authoritative source. They still don't. Yeah. I, I, the, when, you know, the new lie is that they never said the vaccine would stop the virus dead and would stop. That's the new lie, that they never said it. So I can show them a video of, of them saying it, everybody from Fauci to Biden to Rachel Maddow saying that exact thing. To my friends, and they don't yeah. go, wow, somebody lied to me and said that they never said that. I wonder why they lied to me. They don't, they don't care. Well, they knew how Michael Jackson got away with it. That's right. Here we go. There's more. Medicine to fight the coronavirus. But they won't take the vaccine, which is crazy. It's like if you're a vegan and you're... It's crazy that they won't take an experimental medical treatment with no long-term studies being given to us by the biggest murderous criminals in the history of the world, Big Pharma. It's weird that people are skeptical of that. And it turns out now we know that they were all rightfully so. So here we go. But they won't take the vaccine, which is crazy. It's like if you're a vegan and you're just like, no, I don't want a hamburger. Give me that can of Alpo instead. Alpo uh, dog food is owned by Nestle, which also <laughs> owns Nestle Health Science, a pharmaceutical company. <laughs> so I think an anti-vaxxer would probably make their own freaking dog food. Yeah, really? Okay. I gotta say, when I first heard that Fox News was pushing ivermectin, I knew it was going to be bad, but I was not expecting it to be horse dewormer. Sounds like the name of a drug they give super soldiers in a Paul Verhoeven movie to turn them into robocops. You know someone at the company that made ivermectin once said, hey, should we put not for people on the horse pill labels? And someone else said, there's a picture of a horse on the bottle. Okay, this, just the, Is that so the doctor who's prescribing it won't be confused? What, again, how do they so, never- So how, no one ever looked into, you never looked into, oh, ivermectin's a human medicine. It's safer than Tylenol. It's been prescribed. So what this is, so you remember when Trump said shithole countries? Mm -hmm. This is them, their version of shithole countries, because it's been prescribed billions of times in countries in Africa and in India and in Asia, South America, Central. It's been billions of times, say billions of lives, but not here in this country because it's not diseases that we have. And so this is their version of shithole country. All those billions of people who have taken ivermectin are dumb, redneck, shithole people. That's what, and that's just a lazy, arrogant smugness, which is why I have way more disdain for this type of liberal that I ever could have thought I could. <laughs> you see Norm Trash him the best. Nor CNN. Yes. Oh, I, Norm McDonald made fun of Seth Meyers. He, they asked him a question about his opinion on something. He goes, oh, God, well, the great Seth Meyers is waiting. You know, I always, before I, uh, before I wonder if something's funny, I, I, I say, what would Seth Meyers do? <laughs> <laughs> Seth Meyers, uh, these, it's alienating more rednecks than Merle Streep. Here we go. It's fine. So, <laughs> ivermectin <laughs> is ineffective against COVID. And when used incorrectly, it can kill you. Worst of all, it tastes yucky. <laughs> Luckily, the internet is loaded with advice on how to make it more palatable, including mixing it with jellies or eating it as a sandwich. Oh. Or throw it on your roast beef. Technically, it is horsey sauce. <laughs> I bet nobody did that. Because that wasn't a video. Somebody, oh, you don't have a sandwich. That was... The lying article from... Like the, the exact opposite of what comedians are supposed to do. You're supposed to debunk that propaganda because you're being lied to by billion-dollar corporations in order to make more money. And But, of course, they're paid by those same corporations, so they can't make those jokes. And, and, they, and they... Like, that guy... I thought I was supposed to grow a weird white mustache and do as I'm told. <laughs> yeah, like you, that guy, he didn't take a bunch of pills so he could get through that show. You know what I mean? Like he's, think he, yeah, really? he's like they've somehow done some kind of mental trick where they just don't let in accurate information. They just be he became the the thing he used to make fun of. Well, you know, how Scientologists, they they don't know. They never knew about Xenu because they're like, don't go online and read about Scientology. It's lies. But that's what the, that's what, that's so that, what it, it's like a really great system that they've pioneered across all of society. <laughs> One commenter explained. I take it by hiding it in a banana. Is that what it's going to take to get you accept actual medicine? In that like as if ivermectin is an actual medicine. 
Isn't that weird that he would say that? Is that oh, what it's going to downgraded from horse medicine to not even medicine? Now it's not even medicine. Hayes, can I interest you in a delicious banana? <laughs> Dr. Fauci said that if hospitals get any more overcrowded, they're going to have to make some very tough choices. I mean, you get more honesty from a real housewives than you get from these fucking late night comedians. <laughs> yeah. And it's unbelievable. Okay. These guys, these assholes make James Corden look like a nice guy. <laughs> about who gets an ICU bed. I, that choice doesn't seem so tough to me. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in. We'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo? Rest in peace, Wheezy. You're... That's oh, I thought you were saying goodbye to you. I could see Jimmy Kimmel dropping cluster bombs. I'm sure he has a joke about how they're good. I bet he does. Cluster bombs are good. It, it only kills Russians. I was trying to find like stuff where people are saying how cluster bombs are good. I found only a couple channels. Every, most of them will like make an excuse for it. Only yeah. a couple are like, but this is a good thing. Oh, really? Yeah. I wish you would send me them who are like it. I'd love to see it. Okay. So that's, that's why I'm embarrassed when people ask me on aeroplanes now, what do you do for a living? I tell them I give speeches at colleges. I don't, I don't want to tell them I'm a comedian because the, the, I would say 95% of the comedy community that I saw anyway, the, the clubs that I go to and the specials that I've watched were a complete letdown and they, com they folded into the Nazis. <laughs> they went along with the Nazis. That's what they did. And shame the people, not only that, but shame the people who stood up to them. They, 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 tried, they shamed dissent and skepticism. That's what comedy did as a community and they're still doing it well, and none of them are going to apologize for it do you remember the thing of uh the uh, uh, he's one of these guys who's just asking questions yeah i've heard that said derisively yeah. yes and, and I was shaming like, well, you for asking questions and i'm like who uh, who the hell is like just asking questions to be a troll <laughs> right are you just saying that because you don't want to answer any goddamn questions that's right again or oh he's a contrarian I looked up what a contrarian is. <laughs> Do you know what it is? It's someone who goes against the popular sentiment, but it it was first used for stock people who pick stocks. It was oh. a Wall Street term oh, really? for a guy who doesn't go with the herd. You know, so the guy who's right. Yeah. That's what it originally meant. And now it means just a jerk. Um I'm proud of the comedy I did during COVID and after. And I'm sure a lot of those guys. Hopefully, hopefully, and we all and you, we've I'm seen. I'm fine with the comedy I did. Hope, I mean, you know. Hopefully, the people who did those jokes or those anti jokes, because that's not comedy. They did propaganda disguised as comedy, and shamed people for getting informed about an experimental medical treatment they're being forced to take. Hopefully, maybe someday those people will then do jokes about how dumb they were to shame other people for doing what you're supposed to do as a grown up. And be skeptical and ask questions of authority when you're being told to accept something. Okay, maybe when we'll see if these Trump charges stick, and maybe. Huh? <laughs> Again, I can re I can forgive, I can forgive all those guys for that if they asked. They never will. You know what those guys won't do? Like I said, like my friend Graham Elwood, he'll never forgive me for being right about COVID because he was so unbelievably wrong about it. Doesn't make him a bad person. A lot of people. But you got to own up to it. You got to say, I was wrong and make amends. I think that's what I, you know, I think that's, I've heard that somewhere. Make amends. I don't know where I've heard that, but uh, they're not. And it shows a real lack of character. Are all your friends Irish? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come see us live on tour. We'll be in Salt Lake City, New York City, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, Stamford, Connecticut, Toledo, Detroit, St. Louis, Tampa, Boca Raton, and Orlando. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. See you there.